So I'm nine days away from hitting 20 years in the United States Air Force. And as a gift to myself and a gift from Sarah, I uh, finally decided to get something that I've wanted for a long time. And uh, take you take you along and show you a new Jeep Rubicon. Sarah's never really liked Jeeps, but I always have. And uh, so I finally decided to get one. I said, you know what? 20 years in the Air Force. I gotta get myself something for, for that anniversary. Pretty big deal. So this is it. It's not brand new. It's a 2013, but it's only got 24,000 miles on it. I don't know how that's even possible. Most of the time when you find these Jeeps, they got over 100,000. So whoever had it didn't drive it much. It took pretty good care of it, from what I could tell. Did a lot of inspection on it when I was at the dealership. Everything's greased up. No ball joint issues. Check the uh, check the engine. Check the air intake. Check the filter. There's no blow by. None of that stuff that you see with older vehicles. I didn't really expect to see that, considering this one only had uh, such low mileage. But everything's pretty clean on the inside. We ended up trading in my traverse for it, my dad rod. Got tired of driving something that looked like a van. Take you on the inside. So this is the unlimited version. Everything's leather, black leather interior. It's got a uh, navigation. It's already got a custom lift on it. Let's see, uh, fire this thing up. stuff down but it's got Sirius radio XM it's got all the bells and whistles comes with the hard top and the soft top back there pretty nice sound system I don't know how to take any of this stuff off yet I'm gonna be doing a lot of research on how to do all this I'm sure there's other YouTube videos out there that are gonna explain to me in great detail on how it all goes but got rid of the third row seat from the Traverse. Now only have a standard, just back seats. But there's only five of us. So as long as we don't have any company, if we do, I guess we're going down to Hertz, rent a car, renting ourselves a van. I'm pretty excited about it. Sarah says that they look too much like a military vehicle. Maybe that's why I like them. Tires are pretty good on it. Big tires. Makes it ride a little rough on the highway. I don't know one day if we might just buy some smaller tires for it when we do want to take long road trips just to make the ride a little bit more smooth. It's already got a worn winch on it. It's got the ranch style front bumper. Rough country shocks. Hard top, the hard top's a little, it's kind of chipping a little bit in some places. Sarah had a pretty good idea of just taking the whole top off and going to get it rhino lined. I think that'd probably look pretty cool. I don't know, I think the theme I'm gonna go with it is black on red or red on black. I think that's a good accent color. <laughs> color, good accent color. I don't know. What else can I show you? Let's see. I know uh, I was looking in to try to figure out how to pair my my uh, iPhone with it. And this comes up with Uconnect phone not available after looking in the owner's manual. Apparently this one doesn't have Bluetooth capability. I got to get some kind of adapter for it. Which kind of sucks. You think that it would already have all that stuff built in. But creature comforts that maybe weren't so popular in 2013. I can't remember that far back. 
It's got some aftermarket KC Daylighter head headlights. I'm really excited about all the stuff you can do to customize these Jeeps. But I've already been told that I can't buy anything for it until Sarah gets some rims for her Camaro. So that might be the uh, the next thing we do. Maybe that would be my 20 year anniversary in the Air Force gift to Sarah for putting up with the military for so long. That's uh, definitely not easy for spouses or kids. All the deployments and TDYs and long nights and long weekends. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I think it's uh, gonna make a pretty good 20 year anniversary gift to myself. I think we'll have a lot of fun in it. Now I won't uh, have to steal Jordan's truck whenever I go hog hunting. I'll just hook the trailer up to this and be able to go. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll let you know. Maybe we'll do some reviews of the Jeep here in the future. Do some off-roading or take it out hog hunting. I'll let you know how it does. I, uh, I don't really have any doubt that it's going to be that it's not going to perform and perform just fine. So thanks for watching. See y'all later. Bye.